Have you heard of a cabbage that's not a vegetable? Hi, I'm Dr. Syed Rasul Binji Syed Hamid, a consultant cataract surgeon at the KPJ Johor Specialist Hospital. Today I'm here to break down what cabbage is all about. So you can be better prepared if you and your loved ones need to undergo this surgery. Cabbage, also known as heart bypass surgery, is a procedure to create a new path for blood to flow around a blocked or partially blocked artery in the heart. This surgery involves taking a healthy blood vessel from the chest or the leg area. And this vessel then connected below the blocked heart artery. This new pathway improves blood flow to the heart muscle. One must understand that cabbage does not cure the heart disease that caused the block, but can only reduce the symptoms such as chest pain and shortness of breath. Cabbage is recommended if you have number one, a blockage to the left main heart artery that supplies a lot of blood to the heart muscles. Number two, you have severe narrowing of the main heart artery. Number three, you have severe chest pain caused by narrowing of several heart arteries. Number four, persistent and intolerable symptoms despite you being on optimal medical therapy. Number five, if you have a blocked artery that can't be treated with coronary angioplasty. Number six, if you have already done angioplasty with or without a stent, that finally didn't work. Coronary artery bypass surgery is an open heart surgery. Like any other surgeries, there's always some risk involved. The possible complications of CABG include, number one, bleeding during or after surgery. Number two, the formation of blood clots that can cause heart attack, stroke or lung problems. Number three, you can have infections at the incision sites. Number four, you can develop pneumonia. Number five, you may develop breathing problems with long-term need for a breathing machine that's called a ventilator. You may develop kidney problems and abnormal heart rhythms called arrhythmias. If you have the following medical conditions, it increases the risk of your complications. Number one is blocked arteries in your legs. Number two is chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or called COPD. Number three, you have, have type, if you have diabetes. Number four, if you have kidney diseases. Medicine will be given to control the bleeding and blood pressure and to prevent infection, typically given before surgery to reduce your risk of complications. If you have diabetes, you may also get medicine to control your blood sugar during the surgery. As heart surgery techniques and technology improve over time, more conditions are being treated through minimally invasive surgery or what you call keyhole surgery. Minimally invasive direct coronary bypass or in short form is called mid-cap. In this procedure, the surgeon accesses the heart through a small incision between the ribs without having to cut the bones. This technique can help reduce pain and scarring while maintaining the safety and its efficacy. Benefits include less blood loss, lower risk of infection and less pain. Because the procedure takes longer to perform than conventional bypass surgery, it is rarely used in emergency situations. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions about coronary bypass grafting, please feel free to leave a comment and reach out to me. For more health tips, Remember to like and subscribe to Medical Channel Asia.